So hello guys, welcome back. Uh, yes, and we are onto the demo for AWS DevOps, uh, where we are going to start with Elastic Beanstalk, and it pretty takes a long time to create this Elastic Beanstalk. So I have already created one, and here what we see is this is the URL, which is by default giving its environment. That is congratulations, your first AWS Elastic Beanstalk Node.js application is running. So this is our default, and here we are going to go with our code. We are going to launch our site, and this is the dashboard that says it gives us a pass that is a platform as a service, as you people know. Here we have selected Node.js that is running on a sixty-four sixty-four bit Amazon Linux. Uh, there is a health check that is green so green indicates that it is healthy this is the url that i was talking about and i have taken to you and this are the recent events that happened so this gives information that we added ec2 instance auto scaling group was added adding instance to your environment your uh, instance was added to our environment then it has been set to green because it is healthy then the application is available on this url and then it is successfully launched and the environment name is shweta app environment so this is about our shweta app environment and the elastic beanstalk now what we are going to look is we are i'll show you this github this is the repository uh this is the code that we are going to uh, be uh, showing deploying over our elastic beanstalk and how are we going to do that like we want this thing to be our, uh, to be over here so with this url uh, expressing it uh, with this url it should be deployed so what we do is we just go into this aws management console we write here a code pipeline word that is a service provided by aws as i said it's a devops uh, service so aws code pipeline you people uh, went through the ppt and till now you have must got what is all this source artifacts build deploy pipeline so yes now what we are going to do is going to deploy that code i will create a pipeline to start begin with our continuous integration and continuous delivery deployment process so let's uh, let us name some pipeline let me say shweta pipeline so yeah shweta pipeline and we create a new service role the role name is this and we just go with next we are not going with any of the configuration to change in advanced setting and a source provider so what is a source provider so our source pro provider was github so let's go with github version 1 okay now it is saying that connect to your github uh, there should be connection done okay so you have to validate it and authorize it so yes uh, i had put my credentials already so yeah you will be asked for your credentials and then you have to confirm it that choose confirm to complete this connection and your authorization will be successful so here after that you could see your repositories we are going with musician app and inside that the branch that we are going to work with is master so this is all that we need to select change the detection options choose a detection mode to automatically start your pipeline when changes occur so this is when any change occurs it will automatically start so here a get a webhook is given which will automatically start your pipeline when any changes occur so we are going with the recommended one and here it is uh, saying that build provider this is a tool for your build project but as we know our uh, repo our code is already built so what we are going to go with we are just going to go with a skip build stage because we have already specified our code that is built so yeah we are skipping this and then we are going with deploy so what is our deployer what is our deploy provider so it's an aws elastic beanstalk because we have created an eb so we go for this we choose our application name yes this was the application name that i gave and our environment was shweta app environment so yes this is the name thing and then we go for next okay here you come across all the changes that you have done all the review that you have went through creating a pipeline 
and this is the pipeline setting the artifact location uh, service role name then you add a source type then you add a build stage where no build was required we just skipped it and then you give a deploy action provider uh, that was eb that is elastic beanstalk so let us create a pipeline and pipeline creation is happening yes success congratulations the pipeline shweta pipeline has been created mm, it will take some time because it is in still in progress after that it will go for deployment so this source is succeeded the next transaction to that is last transaction to that is deploy and it is going through all the phases that we saw in our aws devops phases stages so once this is complete we will check with our url whether our musician app is deployed on our eb or not so this is how a short demo it was on aws and i hope you understand you need to follow the process that has been taught on this platform you need to go through this platform explore the services of aws devops make your own um, create your own repo with your own code upload it deploy it so that will provide you a hands on through i hope everyone is getting please write me in the uh, comment section if you anybody is not getting the steps i repeat those so our source to deploy phases are being succeeded and let's go to our elastic beanstalk default size this was the url that our environment provided and let's uh, go to this again so yes we have deployed our niranjan app that is a musician app it was holding this code and this is a code hello team how is it going so this is all about how to deploy over eb and that uh, through aws devops we have learned it gives a continuous journey about continuous integration de delivery and deployment that's all i hope you people go through this and perform exactly the same and upload your uh, recorded observations through the lms platform for evaluation so that's all